Now, some, some high-flying stocks are losing steam lately, and the Nasdaq is taking a dip because of it. My next guest says it's time to go old school when it comes to investing. Tom Lydon, he's the editor of ETF Trends. He's joining us now from Irvine, California, where we thought it was early here. It's very, very early for you out there in L.A., right? Happy uh, Perk Up Monday, Dominic. Perk Up Monday. The real yes. question is, have you stayed up all night, or are you just waking up? You know, got to bed a little early, woke up. I'll probably get a few more hours later on, but it's great to be with you. <laughs> All right. So, so, so Tom, this, we got to get to this because th th this is interesting. From, we've been talking so much about these new school type companies, the Facebooks, the social medias, the Netflixes of the world. But you're saying that it's time to get back to basics here with investing. How are you playing this market currently and what, where are you seeing the opportunities for investing in this particular type of market? Well, you're right, Dominic. They, you know, Tech 2.0 has been getting all the love, but the old guard, the Microsofts, the Intels, the IBMs, the Ciscos, uh, haven't been getting as much love, but they've got a lot of cash. They've got a lot of dividends. And what most people don't think about is tech stocks have accounted for over one third of the increase in dividends that we've seen over the last seven years. So it's important for investors, especially ETF investors that we look at, they are really concentrating on not only tech opportunities, but also, most importantly, dividend opportunities. And with this one in particular ETF, out of all 36 tech-oriented ETFs, the first trust NASDAQ technology dividend-oriented ETF has really been doing well so far this year, comparing to all tech ETFs that really haven't been doing so well. Well, yeah, and it's an interesting point. Obviously, investors have caught on to this trend, but not to pick on IBM, but just reported its worst quarterly sales growth in five years, eight quarters without revenue growth. That could be a tough one to swallow, especially for those looking for some sort of a growth stock. Well, you're right, Sarah, and, and you look at Intel as well. I mean, it beat on, on the earnings, but did not do so well as far as sales. So that's the big question. Are these big tech companies going to continue to bring in the cash? But the, the thing is, they are sitting on a lot of cash. They do have a lot of buybacks right now. They do have a lot of ownership within their industries, but they're also buying other companies as well. So not as risky as the 2.0 companies that we like to talk about, right. but a lot more stable than they were 20 years ago. If you look at the theme here in some of these companies, at least when it comes to strategy, Intel, Cisco, IBM, I mean, they're late to the party. They're not exactly at the forefront of cutting edge technology. Is that a benefit at all when it comes to how nimble they can be when it comes to investing and putting that cash to work? Do you see that perhaps as a defensive play here amid the momentum sell-off? Well, well, as far as momentum, absolutely. They're not, they're not there, but they really are the pillars of the technology industry. And if you look at uh, their, their capital ratios, if you look at the, the amount of cash that they're sitting on, huge. Yes, uh, eventually you're going to see the, the Facebooks and the Twitters and the LinkedIn's pop back, but they're going to have a heck of a lot more volatility. Now, Today, I think as investors are looking for less volatility, stability, and dividends, and this ETF offers that. Tom, tech is the biggest sector in the S&P 500, nearly a fifth of all companies there represented by technology. Will it still be a leader in the coming year? Well, I think so. I mean, that's where all the growth is. I mean, it, it, if you look at all the sectors that are out there, technology really has brought long-term growth. You don't look at these let's say, the old guard as long-term growth, but it's really the stability that gives, uh, you know, our, our national GDP a lot, to, a lot to lean on, and I think we're going to continue to see that going forward. Gotcha. So tech remains a leader in this environment. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. That's Tom Lydon over ETF Trends. He's the editor over there.